Hi there, I'm Francis, an engineer, and George wants me to explain how a Tesla Model 3 works. Well, a Tesla Model 3 is an electric car, and there's actually quite a few things going on inside the Tesla Model 3, but I'm going to talk about one of the main ones, well, the main one, which is the motor, because without this, the car wouldn't move, and every electric car needs an electric motor. Okay, so first off, an electric car needs to get its energy from somewhere. By energy, I mean what source it uses to drive itself forward. For example, a petrol car uses gasoline. When there's no gas, the car doesn't move. Electric car, a battery, generally. In the case of the Tesla Model 3, yes, it's a lithium ion battery. And this battery is DC. What's DC? It stands for direct current. And if you look at the little animation here, you can see it just means the electrons are moving around in a circle. Now, the motor is an AC motor. AC stands for alternating current. And if you look at the little animation here again, you can see an alternating current basically means the electrons move one way and then they stop and go back and move the other way. So using a DC battery and trying to power an AC motor, you need something called an inverter. What that does is it changes the DC into AC. Okay, now to the motor. Let's have a look at an animation. Whoa, okay, what's going on here? Well, let's break it down. This is the stator. The stator just means stationary, which is the part of the motor which doesn't move, hence stationary. And this is the rotor, which is the part that moves or rotates, and that's connected to the axle of the car. It's the thing that turns the wheels and makes the car move. All right, let's have a closer look at the stator. So you can see the stator is divided into 12 segments. Each one of these segments has a color. There's green, red, and blue. And all the greens are connected, all the reds are connected, and all the blues are connected. What do I mean by connected? Well, let's take the green for example. These four parts of the green, they're called poles, these four poles, are all made of one big loop of wire. Why do we want them to be all made of one big loop of wire? Well, whenever we send an electric current through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. So if we have an AC current coming from the inverter and going into the green, it's going to create four magnetic fields in the four poles. So each of them is represented by a circle with arrows on it. These arrows show which way the magnetic field is flowing. What happens next? Well, the AC current going into the green goes down to zero and it goes up in the red, which means now we have four magnetic fields in the four red poles and then it happens again in the blue. You can see when this happens again and again that the magnetic field seems to move. So these four moving magnetic fields are really important because they're going to pull the rotor around. They're going to be the thing that moves the rotor or moves the car. But how does that work? How do these moving magnetic fields pull the rotor around? Well the rotor is made of wire, a lot of wire, just like the stator and just like we learned before, if you put an electric current through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. In the same way, if you move a magnetic field across a wire, it creates a current. And so you can see here, as these magnetic fields are moving across the wire in the middle, in the rotor, little currents are created, like this. And these currents, in turn, create another magnetic field. So these little magnetic fields get pulled along by the big magnetic field. The little magnetic fields in the rotor are being pulled along by the big magnetic fields that are moving in the stator. And why are they pulled along? Well, let's have a look at a magnet, a normal rare earth magnet. You can see here that it has magnetic field lines coming out from the positive and going into the negative. Now, if we put two positives next to each other like this, you can see the arrows are pointing in opposite directions, so they actually want to push apart. But if we put a positive next to a negative like this, you can see that the arrows are pointing in the same direction, so they want to pull together. Now let's go back. Now we can see why they're pulled along. Just like in the normal magnet, negative and positive want to connect, and the arrows pointing in the same direction show this connection. These arrows pointing in the same direction want to stay together as well. These magnetic fields want to connect just like the positive and the negative. So that's how it works. A DC current comes from a lithium ion battery. It goes into an inverter. This inverter changes it into an AC current. This AC current goes into four segments, 
four poles and creates four magnetic fields. Then the AC current in these four poles goes to zero and goes up in the next four poles. It does this again and again, moving a magnetic field, well four magnetic fields, around in a circle. These four magnetic fields create little magnetic fields. These little magnetic fields are then pulled along by these four big magnetic fields, moving the car at speeds up to 225 kilometers an hour. If you want to see more videos like this one, for example, how does a phone call work? Or this video on why wider tires don't provide more traction than skinnier tires, then go ahead and subscribe. And if you have your own question like George did, then write it in the comments below and it could be answered in the next video. If you learned something, then give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.